Stan Jobalisco here. Uh, I am showing you figure 27-14E as an echo found on page 484 of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 6th edition. This circuit is a detector or demodulator for a single sideband. Now a single sideband signal, as you should have learned by now if you've been reading along in the book is like an AM signal with the carrier gone and one of the sidebands gone. The sidebands in an AM signal are redundant and the carrier is not necessary uh, in order to convey all of the information in the signal uh, such as a voice signal like I might be uh, blabbering into this microphone right now. A single sideband signal goes out over the air, it's intercepted by your receiver and translated to a constant intermediate frequency. So this frequency of this single sideband signal is constant, simplifies the circuit a great deal as it is compared to if you had to deal with varying frequency signals. The LO is the local oscillator, which basically oscillates a steady unmodulated carrier at the same frequency that the carrier was or would be if this signal had just been left alone as an AM signal. So it, the transmitter uh, takes the carrier away and one of the sidebands away for efficiency purposes, transmits the signal over the air and when the signal gets back you replace that carrier. Uh, no need to send it all that way. Uh, it just takes a lot of extra energy. And what you get then is, in effect, mixing the local oscillator signal with the frequency of the, with the audio frequency components of one of the sidebands of the single sideband signal, or the sideband of the, of the single sideband signal. These capacitors right here are blocking capacitors, and they prevent the input circuits to this stage here from disrupting the bias on this uh, amplifying device, which happens to be an NPN bipolar transistor in this case. It could just as well be PNP, or it could just as well be a field effect transistor. This resistor provides the bias for a class B as in Bravo operation of the uh, amplifier of the amplifier circuit with the NPN bipolar transistor emitter, base, and collector. This resistor helps with the bias as well on the transistor and also prevents shorting out the local oscillator signal to ground. You don't want that or you'd just get this uh, and you, you get a circuit that didn't do anything. But when you mix this, you get an audio signal here. This is a detector or demodulator for a single sideband signal. It turns it into an AM signal with one of the sidebands missing, which doesn't matter because the sidebands in an AM signal are redundant anyway. And it takes this audio, matches the output impedance of this amplifier to the input impedance of whatever stages you might want to have here. Probably an audio frequency amplifier or two, which will then lead to a speaker or headphones. The power supply voltage, of course, being right here, provided through the secondary winding of this uh, transformer to the collector of the transistor. So it's really a, a very basic uh, circuit. doesn't do very much other than rectify and to some extent amplify the AM signal that you get by manufacturing it with your local oscillator here in your receiver. You'll always find this circuit in the receiver, uh, never in the transmitter of a single sideband system. Again, this is figure 27-14E, is an echo, 
which you will find on page 484 of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, edition number 6. You'll find this same figure in almost every edition of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, if not all of them, but it'll probably have a different figure number and certainly will appear in a different chapter. This chapter is entitled Wireless Transmitters and Receivers, Chapter 27. Again, the book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 6th edition. I recommend you get the paper-bound copy from Amazon.com, or if you can find one and order it, or if it happens to be on the shelf, bless their souls, uh, you can buy it there. The paper-bound. The problem with electronic renditions of books, in my experience, such as you might read on, uh, uh, well, the Kindle Fire or the Nook tablet or other such devices, it's fine if, as long as there aren't technical diagrams like this or equations, mathematical equations or other complicated expressions, because for some reason they haven't perfected the art yet of transcribing hard copy into electronic copy perfectly well unless of course you're just looking at a PDF file but that's that doesn't provide enough versatility so the long and the short of it is buy the paper bound edition especially if you're impressed with my acting ability <laughs> in regards to this video and Hope this helps let you understand the functions of each component. Bias resistor, resistor to uh, additional bias resistor and prevents the short circuiting of the input and prevents excessive current from flowing in the transistor. This audio frequency transformer with a powdered iron core indicated by the dashed lines matches the impedance of the audio that you get here to whatever audio amplifiers or headphones you, you happen to use to listen to my yammering voice or perhaps Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony, although he'd be very unhappy if it were transmitted over single sideband. He'd be very unhappy indeed. He'd consider it butchering of his work. <laughs> Which, in a sense, it would be, but we're not doing that because it's illegal, especially if you're a ham radio operator, illegal to transmit music. Stangibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.